Man, I tell you, I cannot keep this car clean. It may look clean on camera, but it's not. Lots of dust, just kind of all over the dang thing. I drive it so much and it does not help living on a dirt road. Uh, what can you do? It literally has become a full-time job trying to keep this thing clean. And most times I just do not have the energy, unfortunately, so. Anywho, uh, this video is just gonna be an update on everything that's been happening behind the scenes. I know that there hasn't been a whole lot going on in terms of the channel, content, I get it. You know my story, you know I haven't been in the greatest uh, you know, financial condition since moving or relocating to Florida. And um, well, the good news is some of my strategy is starting to pay off. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain that in the video and tell you all the good news that we have to look forward to. And hopefully we'll have some money here to do something with at least a Mustang until I get the Fiero down here. So let's go ahead and talk about it. <music> Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the biggest piece of uh, news here for, it's not so much the channel, I mean this is just the brand in general because it has really nothing to do with YouTube. Even though YouTube is my bread and butter when it comes to cash flow for the brand, of course there are other platforms out there and uh, two that I've been working on very hard for a very long time, just as long as YouTube is uh, Facebook and Instagram. Obviously, my Instagram is much more developed than my Facebook. I definitely neglected Facebook for the longest time in favor of Instagram and YouTube. Well, since moving down to Florida, I started focusing back on um, Facebook and getting my Facebook page kind of, you know, more up to snuff, bring in more followers. And, um, that's what I started doing. I finally got my Facebook page to a point where I can start monetizing certain videos. So uh, right now, Facebook for creators offers monetization programs for the reels. You know, the vertical short form videos that's going everywhere, you know, there's shorts on, uh, YouTube reels is for Facebook and Instagram. That's all to compete with the overlord of social media content, TikTok. Okay, so, but they have incentivized creators to make content for their platforms, and so that's a good thing, at least. The good news is, yes, I have Facebook partially monetized now. I am working on getting long form content monetized. I'm in the, you know, application stage, or it's in review. You know, they gotta look over everything, but you know, it's in the process. So um, hopefully I'll be able to backlog everything from YouTube over to Facebook and you know, kind of get paid twice on the same video um, and get more reach that way. So that's the good thing. The bad thing is, even though it's all set up and in place, Facebook's monetization program, it, it's very weird, okay? So it's not really working the way it should be. I don't think, not for me at least. It's not logging views correctly. It's not, you know, like when I first applied for it, I had like $33 in revenue after a week and then it went away and disappeared and never came back and they never paid me for it. And I had no, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find where that was. You go into the section where it, um, you know, has, payouts for your what you get paid from them and or earnings from them and it was gone so I don't know what happened there obviously it's it's not right it's nowhere near as friendly to the creator as YouTube is um, so I'm not sure what's going on but hopefully it gets figured out and I can actually start keeping some of the money I, I earn from from Facebook but as of now, that not be the case. Uh, I might earn a few bucks, but at least it started. So that's the good news. So now I have two forms of revenue stream for my content. So that's only gonna help over time. As I build up my Facebook, as I build up 
my YouTube, obviously they're all gonna start, you know, it's all it's all starting to pay off. So that's my whole point of all this. And it was actually great because for the first time ever, I had a video go viral. And at the same time, it'd be my luck, I had to take it down. And it, it, that really sucks. So the story behind that is all of the uh, short form content I've been making of my Marvel's Mr. Oil video, yeah, a lot of that gets a lot of attention, obviously, on all platforms I posted on. But the short form versions of that video kind of take a lot of it out of context. So, you know, it lets the imagination wander quite a bit when people watch it. So, you know, people think all the crazy stuff. So, needless to say, when I posted that video on Facebook, it got shared around a lot. And I got blasted a lot, of course, you know. I got some of the craziest, you know, comments telling me how stupid I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it got shared around and viewed so much by the time it was all said and done, right before I removed the video, it was over two million views. Two million. Never in my life, well, in my, okay, yeah, that too, but, my you know content creator career here have i ever had a video go viral to that extent i mean that is true viral and it's in the millions i believe that was awesome you know that brought a lot of attention to not only my facebook but to uh my youtube and all the other stuff i had a lot i gained a lot of subscribers i gained a lot of followers in fact from those videos uh from that video in particular it netted me thousands of followers on Facebook. So that's kind of what gave me the push to get my Facebook over the uh, qualification limits that I needed for monetization. So that was awesome. The problem was though, and the reason why I had to take the video off is because Facebook does not want you to repost or repurpose content. Now, I don't think they really have a way of knowing this unless you did what I did and you repurpose a TikTok video that has the TikTok watermark on it. Yeah, that sucked. So even though that video got 2 million views, it actually gave me a, a warning from Facebook saying, hey, we don't want this here. We, don't, we want original content on our platform. We don't want TikTok's content on our platform. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I'm like, crap, two million views. So I had, to I had to take the video down. I had to take it off Facebook and I had to edit it a little bit and re-upload it um, without the watermark from TikTok back on Facebook and never did nearly as well ever again. And obviously, you know, at two million views, if that video did viral again, I, I would've hit the reels bonus for, for Facebook, which would've been a four figure earning for me as a content creator, which would've been great, but unfortunately that did not happen. But because I took the video off and re-uploaded it, I had to actually take two videos down that had the TikTok watermark. But once I did that, Facebook was like, all right, we're cool, we're cool now. Go ahead and monetize your videos. I'm like, ah, thanks. Thanks, Facebook. I'm glad. I'm glad now, after my videos went viral, you can monetize them. And not only that, but as soon as I did that, as soon as my Facebook page um, started monetizing the reels, views plummeted. I was getting thousands of views per reel post. Now, 10, 20, 100, maybe. You know, they build up over time, but never am I getting the same amount of views as I was before I was um, accepted in their, you know, monetization program. So I'm like, of course, right? So whatever, you know, Facebook's Facebook. It's, you know, is what it is, but I, you know, at least it's all built up and I can only go up from there so the groundwork has been laid that's all I gotta say um so apart from that interesting story uh, I have actually really exciting news for YouTube now if you remember me saying I don't know how many videos ago it was probably a few by now but I made a video you know just kind of giving an update on why things have been so slow with content creation and all that 
um, and kind of my new strategy that I think will help the channel in terms of uh, you know revenue generation and just overall growth. Well, I ended up saying, if you remember this, that I wanted to focus on a few videos that had the potential to go viral. And I had some ideas in my mind during that time. Obviously, I didn't have anything I needed together. Well, as time has progressed, I acquired all the things I needed to make those videos. And actually, I just finished recording, and so I have editing to go and do, but I just finished recording the first video. And it, it's gonna be an interesting one. It's definitely a humorous video. And the whole point of it is just to have a damn good laugh so I'm hoping that this video between there's gonna be a full version of it like a normal video um, that's gonna be the main version of it post it on YouTube first and then from that I'm going to make a bunch of short form versions of it for YouTube shorts Facebook and Instagram reels and probably put it on TikTok. I think this video in particular would do very well on TikTok. So I'm really excited for this video because I do believe this video has potential to at the least get hundreds of thousands of views, um, which is going to be wonderful to bring money into the channel. If I can get a video with hundreds of thousands of views, that should be you know, $2,000 worth of revenue coming into the channel and I can put that money towards more projects. So the, um, the idea is if the video does well and it does earn the money that I think it will, then when I earn that money and while I have the following, while I have the attention to the channel, I will put that money towards projects on the car and hopefully, you know, be able to sustain the momentum from that and that's my idea. I'm really hoping that be the case. Um, obviously, not everything goes according to plan, but that's the idea right now. Now, um, that video is planned to be uploaded. I should have it done by the end of the week here. It is gonna be uploaded this Friday, my normal upload time, 7 p.m. So to let it marinate over the weekend and hopefully it does well. And, you know, it, maybe it won't, maybe it'll flop as soon as it uploads. Um, you know, it might be one of those things where it just takes time to catch on. But needless to say, I still think it's gonna be an awesome video. It's gonna be, it's, I, it's gonna be very enjoyable. So not only do I have that video planned, but I also have uh, an, some of the things I need for the next video, which will be done at the end of the month. So it's gonna be for Halloween. It's a Halloween special. And I'm gonna do awesome, it's gonna be an awesome video. Super fun, nothing serious, you know, it's just to have a good laugh. Um, and I think that video also will do very, very well. So um, October is gonna be hopefully a very good month for the brand and getting followers and getting attention to all of the outlets that I have and, you know, hopefully getting some money into the channel so I can start doing more projects with the cars. So yeah, you know, bear with me here. I think this is actually going to pay off, it's going to work. And once it does, then we can actually do some real automotive content. I just have, you know, it's one of those things where you kind of have to treat, you know, these things as they are. You know, you do those kind of videos, that's what brings it in. You do videos of, you know, simple mods on your car, that doesn't get too much, even though that's what everyone wants to see. So it's kind of finding that fine line um, between the two to get the attention and um, the views, but also get the retention you need and you know long-term subscribers and followers. So uh, I think we're I think we're on there. You know, all of this has been a big learning curve. Of course, I watch a lot of videos, read a lot of articles. Um, of content creators and, and you know things you should do and things you shouldn't do and this is all kind of you know stemming from everything I've learned so hopefully it all pays off but I wanted to make this video to give the update about it because I'm super excited and it's you know if it works the way I hope it does it's going to catapult 
um, everything on the channel so that way I can actually start doing the things I want to do with the channel you know obviously that stuff you want to see as well so time will tell but as of now that is the update for everything and it's going to be it for this video so if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up share with everyone you know if you want to see more content like this and some awesome content coming very soon please go ahead and subscribe to the channel keep a lookout for the next true car enthusiast video